What's up guys, welcome back and welcome to Reseto Corsa and today guys we're going to go to Zandvoort we're going to be in a GP2 car because this weekend the Zandvoort Grand Prix is on so I thought oh well how can we replicate that in any sort of way and I found this car, this is a GP2 car from ESR Formula now I haven't seen any videos on it at all and I swear to you this this car drives really really good the AI race really well it looks like it's got the official liveries as well but um, it looks like a 2013 F1 car something like that it's got that screaming V8 in the back of it I think this is a V8 not the V6 version we'll have a closer look at it in a minute but check it out it looks great 4k all day right then guys what we'll do now is We'll check this car out, so let's take a closer look at it. So there it is then guys, this is like a GP2 Formula 2 car, something like that. But um, ESR car do some really great mods and you can see it's done at a really high level. It's got, it's got a bit of a Ferrari livery on it this, but it's got a naturally aspirated V8 in the back. It's got, it's got all your official drivers and your, oh I love that. So it's got all, your, I think it's from 2012 so it's quite an old car. But it's got all your official liveries and stuff like that in. Now these ESR cars, I'll leave the link in the description. I don't know if any of you have drove them. They're absolutely great. This car drives great. It's got a bit of DRS. But we'll stick the super soft sticky tyres on it as well. But it's, it, there's about 20 different drivers or something like to every single driver from the GP2 season. GP2 or Formula 2, one of them. But what a it's great looking model it is. And this is absolutely free. Totally free. I'll tell you what we'll do now though. Let's see if you can... Oh, you can. You can get into it and check it out. This is the beauty of some of these ESR mods. This is up, the, up there. It's The quality's up there with them all. It really is. You can see... You've got your harness there. It's not really a lot to look at, but it goes a bit trippy when I'm in here, but great looking little car. What we'll do is we'll do the super soft tire. I don't know whether to do six or eight laps. We'll go to we're gonna go to Zanvoort anyway. Now Max Verstappen's on the po uh, podium, what's it called? From this moment on of me filming, the race hasn't happened yet, but Max got pole position. Now he's doing great young Max, I love to see young Max on the track, but I'm a Lewis Hamilton fan through and through, so I want to see Lewis come through and break that record. But anyway, I'm Robert on guys, let's get whirling. Next time I see you, we'll be at the track. Right then guys, we've got five red lights, let's go for attempt number two. Give it a rev. Oh, saucy. Right then, revs are up, sing along if you want, it's ba 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 beanies. let's flick that DRS open straight away, but a little bit bogged down off the start, but let's just fly past a few of them. Let's capitalise as much as we can. Because <laughs> I've got the AI on about 97% and they're a little bit too quick for us actually. But we'll stick with it. Yeah guys, this is a car from ESR. And what a mod it is. I, haven't, I don't know if I've seen any, any of the videos on it. I, I really don't think I have. No. Honestly, I, I, I urge you to go out and try this and whoa, download this, you really will enjoy it. It just feels so planted, so sure footed. Like, this same studio have got a GP2 car as well, that's free. It might be the same car for all I know, but it's nothing like this to drive. That thing's absolutely horrible. I don't, I don't like it at all. I mean, I'm not knocking it, I mean, it's a great mod, but it's just too hard to drive, I just, it's just far too snappy. Where this, I, f I feel like I've got a, a lot more confidence in it already. I'm only on lap, lap one, and straight away, I just feel like the front, the front end bites lovely there, like, look, it's just digging in. The front tyres are just digging in, and it hasn't got, like, that snap. It just feels great. Flick that DRS open. But look at the numbers he's doing. We're doing nearly 180 by an hour already. It's got an auto grip as well, so I don't need to rev match it. So just concentrate on getting that power down as early as possible. Oh, hit the, 
inside curve a little bit there. But it's just so confidence inspiring. It really is. It's just got a lovely balance to it. Look there, look at the speed we're doing. It's just sticking flat, absolutely flat around there. Little left, got the gear, fourth gear. <laughs> what a hoot. Who that? You can see that the way I flicked it in there, it's just so confidence inspiring. It just feels so planted. And you can really feel the aero start to build up on it. Give them a pause as early as possible. We're hanging with them a little bit, guys. DRS is open. Tiny little bit DRS. Let's slip it up the inside, see if we can make, make it stick. Oh, that was close. A little too, bit too close for comfort, that. Give them a power nice and early. Off we go. With a hay and a hop and a hay and a hole. Yeah, guys, what do you think about the Formula 1 Championship this year? It's very interesting with young Max for starting. I swear to God, I, I love young Max. I love to see the way he races. Race style is just so good to watch. But I, I, like I said before, I am a massive Lewis Hamilton fan. And I would love to see him get that 8th title. But this year, I really don't think it's going to happen. But look at if Max Verstappen gets the title, which I think he will, I'll, I'll, I'll be really happy for him. Like, honestly, he's like our modern day centre, I would say. No, that's a big, massive claim, but I swear to you guys, I predicted this. When he was in a Formula 1 car, like when he was like 15 year old or something, I was like, whoa, Jackie, this kid's, this kid's crazy. Like, what's he doing? And he was amazing. Like, he had, so, you could just tell he had something special. It's like similar when Lewis Hampton come on the scene. I remember Lewis when Lewis's first race. I remember when he first won in Canada in 2007. I was like, wow, he was like special. You knew he was going to be good. And Max has got that same quality about him when he's racing, I think. But got a great race going on here. Who needs Formula One when you've got some Barnard action and a bit of GP2 with some sparks and everything? Come on. On the power nice and early. Flat that throttle, <laughs> look at that. Like third, look at that. Oh, a little bit wide actually. Or was it? I don't know if I was in the dirty air or something there, but it just washed out wide. I just wasn't expecting that. DRS open, you can feel it. They cut like cough sling when you open that DRS. Very late on the brake, so you can really be aggressive on the brake pedal. You, you don't have to molly cut it. You, you can really stamp on it. That's what I like. All these SR cars, all of them drive great. The 90s cars, the all of them. But this, this drives better than any of them. I swear to you guys, this is the best car I've driven from the SR. I, I'm going to go out and limit. I really think it is. But Zanvo, it's a really hard track for overtaking. Come side with the inside and that. It's just so planted, oh, but we can't hear though. Getting that power as early as possible. There's one place dealt in, two. Oh, up the inside and the next one as well. <laughs> come on. There's two to flick at the RS open as well. Let's get another one. Get two of them. Oh, big kick over steer there when I got on the brakes. But I it, but it, hey, I can feel everything in the force feedback, so I know when this car is going to jump out the controller. I can sense it in the force feedback, I really can. Oh, but there, yeah, I can really feel the force, it really loads up there. Flick that DRS open. Lap number five, that was a hell of a lot quicker than that, man. I was thinking about it there, but I thought, no, no, simmer down, boy. Simmer down. <laughs> What an experience this is, though, to be able to do this sort of stuff, man. But this is hands down the best Formula GP2 car. I'm going to keep... I think it's one of the best Formula cars I think I've driven. This feels as good as the RSS cars. It really does. And if you go out there and try it, let us know in the comments what you think about this. It's just beautiful. It feels great. So confidence inspiring. You really feel like I really feel like I'm leaning on the tires. <laughs> oh yes, sir. Getting that power nice and early there. 
flick it there on us so we can we might get another one here up the inside oh that's the really appreciate us oh great stuff we're in the fourth position guys yeah we're doing really well can we get on the podium i highly doubt it but <laughs> i really didn't think we'd do this well at zandvo oh a little bit wide there though Where's the DRS? There it is. Fourth position. The next lap I'll totally shut up and we'll do a quiet one. On the power nice and early, but guys, I, I don't know what more better I can say about this car. Because some Formula cars like we can be pretty boring to use. Like they've got too much downforce in it. We don't need like any finesse to them on. But this, it's it's very rewarding when you get it right. It'd be a great car to do some hot lapping in. It really would. But look at it there, the way it's sticking. Fourth gear. It's <laughs> so much downforce. It's just so planted. It's coming and chuck it up the inside there. Oh, can't. Making it sticks a lot, although I don't know if we're going to be able to. Third gear. Give a second round the outside. Take the long way around. Use the better line, oh great racing there, we've got to fit that DRS open. We're on the podium, we are on the bloody podium, how the hell we've done this? Oh, there's another one. <laughs> Win second, oh no, he's still there, he's still there. <laughs> great action this. Guys, if you if you like the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you like sim racing, how do you not like this? The sun's coming out and everything. The sun has got his head down, it could be a different way. Right guys, I'm going to shut up so you can hear a lot of the beanage, beanage. in my trousers guys we are in second position somehow but first goal I think is 44 four ahead we're on the last lap now done a 125 there that, that's not bad I think Max Verstappen's pull up was like a 108 107 so we're miles off that modern Formula 1 cars but I think this is from 2012 this car I really do but Maybe I should have put the virtual mirror on, but I don't like using the virtual mirror, it's not realistic. If I, if, if I was doing it online or something like that, maybe I would then, that's different, but... Oh, who knows? Thought away there, but you can see the light, the racing line that's starting to form, because we've got the track on optimum. Oh, that was terrible lines, that actually fit that DRS open one last time. There's first, just, just a few, few hundred metres ahead of it. It's just went on the corner there. Another five laps and I reckon we could have been on them. But I tell you what, it's hard out when you haven't got any cars to judge your brake distances by. But yeah guys, what a car. <laughs> what a race that was. Right then guys, so that was a little 8 lap race at Zandvoort, wow, 
what a race that was as well. Somehow we ended up in second position. Now the AI was on about 95 or 97 percent. I can't remember exactly there, but that was just honestly that this car just feels so planted. It, it feels like an F1 car. I, I don't know this track as well. It, the car really comes alive in them high speed corners. It just feels great. See the DRS flicking open there. But like I said guys, I will leave the links for this in the description. It just got so much grip. Like I'm gonna go out on a limb like this. This feels, if not as good as the RSS cars, if not better. I wanna hands down go out there like if you need to try this, I swear if if you like formula cars and stuff like that, you will absolutely love this car. Like it's got all the liveries, all the drivers. I know it might be a few years old, like why but I don't know when the mod was made. Like that's a thing on our channel here guys. I'm not bothered when the mod was made or if it look at these even if the mod was made five years ago, I'll still make a video on it. I just appreciate that you work and work people do the mods, I love it. You know what I mean? Just I see a lot of videos and people will only make a video on stuff if it's new, if it's just come out. I'm not like that guys, I'll I'll make a video on anything. If I like that mod, I'll make a video on it. But anyway guys, that was great, that was absolutely amazing fun. Wow. Anyway guys, I'm gonna love you and leave you. Peace from the Northeast. Toodles.